It happens all the time that developers give gamers the choice to play their favorite character in a nice outfit. However, some of these outfits are quite wacky and strange and make you wonder why they were even included in the game. We've looked up 11 of the weirdest alternate costumes found in video games. The classic NES title Metroid is infamous for revealing the main character's gender at the end of the game. The cool space soldier you've been playing during the game suddenly is revealed to be a woman. The fun doesn't end there because entering the name Justin Bailey as a password lets you play in a leotard and boots. Back in the 80s, this reveal was quite shocking when it was published in an issue of Nintendo Power. Discovering secrets in video games was a lot more exciting when the internet wasn't around. At least make this fun. We've tried to limit the amount of entries from fighting games on this list, but we just couldn't skip this one. Anna Williams is one of the sexy female vixens in the Tekken franchise who even got her own game at some point. This woman has a huge wardrobe, but we never thought this sexy squid outfit would be part of it. The suit makes her look like a squid with a massive hat and tentacles on her dress. Despite all this, the outfit also shows a lot of skin to please the many male Tekken players, of course. Who doesn't love a girl wearing a squid suit? What's better than playing as your old favorite trusted game character from the original in the franchise? The Max Payne and Metal Gear Solid franchise actually pulled this one off. They included a classic character skin in Max Payne 3 and Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. It even looks like the skins use the old classic textures from the previous games, which gives you that nostalgic feeling for a second. That smug face of Max Payne never gets old. Nathan Drake is a good-looking action hero who plays the leading part in the Uncharted series. But when the player earns the maximum of a thousand medal points in the first game, the Donut Drake skin becomes available. We know it's technically not an alternative costume, but we couldn't let this one go. This version of Drake, which is also unlockable in the first two sequels of Drake's Fortune, is a fat bastard. His voice is even a little deeper in this chubby version of himself. Just what is it you're after? It's just a little historical research. Seeing him do all the jumps and action scenes is a lot funnier this way. Wait, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so. He would go to the ends of the earth when he did Just don't ask him to. The name is Snake, Solid Snake. Our action hero from the Metal Gear Solid series has more in common with the famous British agent than you might think. In the fifth game in the series, it is possible to recruit the female sniper, Quiet. You can dress her up in a full silver or in a Goldfinger gold character skin. We know it looks quite ridiculous to see Quiet spray painted in gold. It is a pity that the costume doesn't have any extra gameplay functionalities. But in the end, it does look a lot better than the horrific naked blood skin you can unlock. The gods of Olympus have abandoned. God of War is a pretty serious game that's all about epic action in ancient Greece. That all changes when you unlock the God of War costume in the second game in the franchise. It's quite hard to take the angry hero seriously when he's dressed up like a fish. Athena! You will! Also, his dairy bastard costume from the first game doesn't look that frightening to us. Yep, this Greek macho man has some unusual fixations and hobbies, if you ask us. Ah! 
Nintendo makes a lot of child-friendly games that don't really fit into the mature video game franchises of other companies. For instance, in the Wii U exclusive Bayonetta 2, the heroine can wear a sexy Fox McCloud costume and other Nintendo-inspired outfits. So much for a cat always landing on his feet, Cheshire. It doesn't stop there because the Wii U version of Tech and Tag Tournament 2 also featured all sorts of Nintendo costumes. This type of fan service is a bit excessive, don't you think? Kojima made a cool tribute to the Assassin's Creed franchise with a costume in Metal Gear Solid 4. Ubisoft later returned the favor in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This game features the somewhat out of place Raiden costume. I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent! I have lost family to the rope. The treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. The costume is a tad unrealistic though, as it contains Raiden's gun in its holster. Which is, of course, a little bit weird considering the game takes place in 16th century Italy. But hey, video game logic never makes sense. The Dead or Alive series is full of crazy costumes. However, the most bizarre one has to be Zack's silver spandex outfit. The jumpsuit is crazy even by Dead or Alive standards. Zack looks like a cross between Iron Man, the Silver Surfer and a Teletubby. It does suit him well since the guy is completely insane. If you're going to play as Zack, you owe it to yourself to dress him up like a cosmic Teletubby. Japanese survival horror games are some of the scariest ever made. This all goes away when you take a look at these alternative costumes. In Haunting Ground, the main character Fiona dresses herself up as a green frog. Heather Mason from Silent Hill 3 even kicks it up a notch. The female protagonist of this game dresses herself up in a pink fairy costume to look like Princess Heart. Wearing these weird outfits is a good way to turn something scary into something ridiculous. Combining patented biotechnology and cutting-edge cybernetic augmentation, one of the past's deadliest weapons arrives. All new for today's battlefield. The Killer Instinct franchise made a great comeback on the Xbox One after more than a decade of absence. Tons of old characters joined the roster of the game, including the prehistoric Riptor. It seems that this vicious beast is a female and wants to display her feminine side by dressing up as a cheerleader. This might be a nod to the Toronto Raptors basketball team, but we think that this is just a funny coincidence. Riptor is one of our favorite characters in the game and this costume makes her even more awesome. What's your favorite alternate costume? Let us know in the comments and please like this video and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> hey, check it out, Marco. Really? Come on. No. Marco. Hello.